Hi everyone, uh, in this lecture uh, we'll talk about uh, how you can map uh, or classify uh, uh, an image, a satellite image using um, and supervised classification, um, specifically a clustering uh, algorithm uh, on the Earth Engine API. Uh, let's get started. So uh, we'll be using the CoLab environment. Uh, so CoLab is uh, more like a Jupyter notebook on the cloud hosted by Google. Uh, so to, to import uh, the Earth Engine, uh, so to import the Earth Engine uh, API, uh, you need to cast um, import EE to import Earth Engine, and also uh, you need to um, um, uh, cast EE Authenticate that will authenticate the Earth Engine uh, library, and um, next initialize the Earth Engine library by um, using EE initialize. So you need to. Um, you know, execute uh, this um, chunk of code uh, to do um, to import, uh, authenticate, and initialize Earth Engine. Once you've done that, uh, you um, execute this, and when you execute, you have you'll just get a link. Uh, you click that link. It'll take you to your Gmail account, um, and you'll have a, an authentication code. You copy that, and then paste it here in the in the in the empty empty box here. And once you do that, uh, you'll successfully authorize the Earth Engine um, library. So assuming that you have already done so, uh, let's get started with the uh, real coding. So first, uh, we need to import, um, we need to create a region of interest for our cl um, su unsupervised classification. Um, so I'll define uh, a region of interest, a region of interest. Um, so I'll just create a, a variable called region and um, EE geometry and rectangle. So I'll be creating a rectangle. Um, and I'll just provide the uh, lot long information for this rectangle and minus 26.24 and 34.3178 and the last one is 26.09. So you close the bracket. And next one is to load uh, the Landsat data. So image um, EE image collection. Landsat LC08 slash 08C01 tier 1 uh, and we need to filter by dead it's just uh, adjust the caps here. Filter date. So this will filter the, the time series. Uh, and I'll provide a start date and uh, an end date for this. And January 1st. And the end date would be. Um, December uh, 31st, 2017. And we'll do some um, sorting of cloud uh, metadata. OK, 
Okay, so what though this does is uh, based on cloud contamination, you will sort the data in ascending order, and then we'll select the, the first uh, from the, the series, which means is that uh, selecting the least cloud contamination or cloud free image. Okay, so this will uh, import the, the uh, Landsat data and we have already created our region of interest. Um, and what we need to uh, do actually before we apply this is that we uh, need to apply um, filter by region of interest because this is a global data so we don't want to use the entire data set rather we want to um, use uh, you know the, the, the Landsat data that, that's over our study region in this case, the region uh, rectangle that we have already created. So we'll apply filter, filter bounce, uh, filter bounce, and uh, we, we just uh, provide region. Uh, that means the rectangle. And that will uh, actually uh, filter by, you know, spatially as well as um, temporally. And next, uh, we need to uh, make the training data. And we'll just uh, create a variable called training and image sample. And we'll open a curly bracket to input the, the parameters in our in our um, training generation. So what we're doing here is we use this rectangle and then generate random data points within this rectangle. And um, a few parameters uh, for this uh, uh, for this uh, operation. So the first parameter is the the region, that means the, the polygon or study area that you have, or you can say area of interest or AOI. So we have our rectangle here, the region, the region uh, parameter here. And the next one is the scale actually. And um, so the scale is 30 meter because we are using a Landsat data, right? So uh, we'll close the bracket and that will be our function. So uh, so numpixel is the total number of pixels that we'll be creating or randomly generating within, within this rectangle is 5,000. So this will create a randomly generated um, you know, data points or training data sets. Um, the next one is actually to um, initiate the cluster model, the unsupervised model. So let's initiate. Uh, initiate the cluster so when we uh, when we apply clustering model we need to initiate the cluster and train it so we uh, create a variable called cluster and we apply e cluster So that's an Earth Engine built-in uh, clustering model. And then we have the Weka Kamins. We'll uh, call uh, the Weka Kamins. And then we'll provide um, generic 15 uh, as a parameter and then train. So our train is, we'll provide this training data, okay? We'll just copy that and paste it here. That means um, it's unsupervised classification. We don't we don't need to provide uh, an already no land cover classes, but we need data points, just simple data points um, or coordinate information, lot long information. Uh, so we need to provide that, and 
So the next step is actually to um, um, apply, you know, input um, the the cluster into our image, the Landsat image, right? So next step is to so cluster the inputs in this case the Landsat image using the train data train cluster okay so this step will actually um, apply the clustering model into the Landsat image so we can say this as result and then image is mind you we already created a Landsat image that's what we are importing here and our model, the clustering model is um, cluster here. So what this does is it will apply this model into the Landsat image and the image will be converted into a classification. Even though it's not, um, it's not a, a supervised classification, it's an unsupervised classification. Um, so it will categorize every pixel into homogeneous um, you know, groups. So we'll just um, copy this and paste. And next step is actually we don't need this cell and we can execute that um, this entire script and to make sure that everything looks good. So the next step is actually to um, you know display the cluster, um, the, the classification result that we already created. Um, so that will be so we'll add the classification layer here. So add uh, EE layer and then uh, result. So the result is the, um, the result of the clustering classification here. Actually, we'll clip it by a region, yeah, because we don't want to, you know, the entire data set we just want to clip it by our study region and then next we need to create a random color random visualizer so and next uh, clusters so this will create a map visualization of our crusting algorithm uh, we can execute that and fantastic so what this does is that it will classify the entire image within the study region into different um, you know classes um, that you know pixels that have similar characteristics will be categorized into a single class or it will just uh, uh, categorize pixels that have homogeneous characteristics so um, based on their their signature a spectral signature it will classify you know pixels into some groups which is um, useful um, especially when before you do supervised classification um, and it helps you to um, refine your training data and um, mind you now we don't specifically uh, make a decision or know what this uh, each of these classes are but we know that you know this part of the green area has similar um, spectral signature um, as this one or this one and the deep green areas have similar spectral signature so for example if you want to capture training data manually you can select all of these areas um, and um, you know input that into your supervised classification and and so usually we do unsupervised classification or clustering algorithm um, as a pre-processing uh, you know before we do supervised classification and in some situations we can we can use it independently uh, however, your your situation is um, this is how you can apply unsupervised classification uh, using the Landsat data. 
uh, on the Erzin Gen uh, Python API using a Colab um, cloud hosted uh, environment.